Hey everybody! In today's tutorial, I am playing with a fun new toy called the Cutalola Dots Pen. I found this, I don't even know where, and knew I had to have it, and I'll tell you the story of why. To begin with, I am inking up the large rose stamp from Rose Wonder from Stampin' Up! in Smoky Slate ink. And I'm just using this as a template so I don't have to have it stamped perfectly. And I'm taping this down to my Artograph light box. This is my smaller one. I also have one of the larger ones. I think this is an essential tool, especially for people like me who can't draw. And then I'm putting a piece of Whisper White cardstock down on top of the stamped image. And I'm going to tape that down with just a tiny bit of washi tape and turn the light box on so that I can get the image where I want it. This one actually needs tape in both corners because I don't want it to move. And this is the Cutalola Dots Pen. This thing is amazing. It actually has a little battery in it that makes the business end of the pen go up and down so that you can make tiny perfect little dots. So this is stippling or pointillism and it's one of my favorite drawing techniques. I actually did a drawing in college. I'm not good at drawing at all but my favorite piece of art that I ever made was a drawing of a sleeve of a shirt that I did by manually making thousands and thousands of tiny dots and it was actually entered in a show that we had in my art class. And unfortunately, our art teacher stole several of our pieces of art. And my little pointillism sleeve drawing was one of them. And I'm still mad about that. <laughs> I think I wrote about it on my blog because it really was something I was very proud of. But I loved the technique, and it's a technique that I've continued to use. I think that it makes great shading. There's also something sort of Peter Maxi about the finished result that you get. I don't know if any of you are old enough to have appreciated some of Peter Max's art, but there's something kind of cartoony and, I don't know, just very graphic about it. So when I saw this pen and saw how easy it could be to get this effect with the little dots, I was super excited and I had to treat myself to this pen. Now I found that if you hold the pen perfectly straight up and down, you get the most perfect round dots. And if you sort of angle it like you normally would a pen, you'll get elongated dots or little dashes almost. And I also found this is literally the first time I've taken this out of the box. I'm doing this live on the video just to see if I like this pen or how it works. And so I'm learning things as I go. One of the things that I learned is I tend to, as I'm using it, try to use an actual pen pressure and you don't want to do that. It will actually slow down the pen a little bit. And so what you want to do is keep it very light. Keep it up off the surface of the paper. And just let the little tiny dots happen with very light pressure. And you'll get a better result. You can make little circular motions to fill in the shading. And it goes very fast and gives you no hand fatigue. Whereas if I were individually making each of these dots just with a pen, I think I would experience a lot of hand fatigue, especially on an image this large with a pointillism technique. So I think on colored images, it would be fun to shade this way if you were coloring with Copic markers or watercolor, and then you just wanted to go back in and add some kind of interest and depth to your image, this would be a great way to do it. I got a special, I will link it to you in the comments. I can't remember if this was for Prime Day or how I got it, but it actually came with a bunch of extra refills. 
and the ink for this pen actually is waterproof. And so it's great for any wet mediums if you wanted to watercolor afterwards instead of watercoloring and shading. This ink would be fine for that too. So I really enjoyed this first time out of the box with the Cutalola dot pen. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks so much for watching.